West Truck Trailer RV in Frederick, Colorado. We are located about 30 minutes north of Denver off I-25. Today I am bringing you an inventory item trailer. Uh, this was a trade-in. It's a 2010 Exus Sport three-horse gooseneck. And this one, previous owner kind of set it up with a little weekender package in it. Uh, neat little, you know, runaround trailer, going out every weekend, rodeo trailer. I mean, this is a multi-use trailer and it's gonna help someone out big time. But right down below here, we do have the manual crank jack right behind this door here. And then that is hidden right under here. And then you also have this plug-in and the previous owner put this plug-in so you can plug into power and then you can run the refrigerator that's in here and there's a couple lights in there um, so you can have your weekender package. All the doors are on a latchback, so those aren't going to be flying shut when the wind's blowing really hard. Um, be able to keep those open and not hit you on everything. But we'll start right here in this little front area. So the uh, previous owner must finish it out a little bit. So you got some shelves in the corner, additional bridle hooks, little refrigerator right there on the shelf. So that's when you plug in, be able to run that. Those additional bridle hooks, um, be able to hang your bridles in here or your coats or, you know, hats, uh, anything really, it's just multi-use and availability for you. We've got a little cabinet down below, store some stuff in there, you know, if you got to take some food or, um, you know, anything really can fit in there. And then up here in the gooseneck, we do have a bed and then some little cute little curtains on the windows, keep those shut. and. You know, get some privacy up here. Cute little front end to this. Um, definitely something that would be fun to take for the weekend, go out camping. Like I said, rodeo, be able to stay in it for the weekend. Don't have running water, but you at least have a place to stay, a place that's got a fridge, be able to have some food for you. So over here on the head side of the trailer, you've got an escape door on this first stall with your bus window and then you got the drop downs on the other two. So escape door opens up. Let's say if you're only hauling two horses, use this third stall, storage stall, um, put you know hay bales in there, additional stuff. We can get you a stud stall for that divider so you could store some other stuff in there, um, stuff that might roll back underneath the horse's legs, but we'd be able to get something on there for you. So then that comes across. Latches up, drop downs on these two with the windows that do open so you can, you know, dictate and decide how much airflow you want going through the trailer. So if it's in the middle of the winter and you just want a little bit of ventilation, you can choose how much airflow based on this window and then pop that back up and you can move it from the outside and be able to, you know, dictate that airflow as you're going down the road, as the temperature is changing based on the, you know, the, um, oh my gosh, the time of day. That's what I was looking for. Yeah, so it's really nice to be able to have that flexibility and be able to move around and get that airflow going through. But down below, we've got two 5,200 pound Dexter torsion axles. And then you got your 16 inch steel wheels. So used trailers that come through here at TransWest, they go through a trailer reconditioning program is what we call it, where they are gonna go through our shops. So whether they're using trailer or living quarters, we're gonna stick them through our shops, make sure everything's good to go on them. So this one went through, had the brakes and the bearings checked. If they needed replaced and repacked, we do so. Um, we check out the tires. If the tires are over five years, non-matching or worn, we'll replace all tires on it, make sure those are good to go. Then we go through all your lights, all your safety features, you know, your doors, your latches, everything. Make sure everything's working how it should, closing how it should, and operating so you are ready. Come here, buy a trailer from us, ready to load a horse in it, take down the road right away. So really nice, really nice little feature that we do here at TransWest. When we get used trailers in, unless stated otherwise, we put them through our shops for all those, all those repairs on them. So coming around here to the rear, we've got our 50-50 door opening. So that swings open. This one's got the saddle rack with the collapsible tack. So if you wanted to reconvert that front area to your tack room and then collapse this over, load a four-wheeler in there, something like that, you're able to do so. 
with the way that this is set up right now, they were kind of using that front end as a weekender, stay overnight, kind of human side of it. And then back here was their tack room. So the flexibility to be able to do either of those. You got some additional bridle hooks up top, the saddle rack, and then how this would come down, you would take the saddle rack out, pull these little pins up and that shifts over and then the whole thing moves out of the way so you are able to have this whole space open up. Coming up here into the stall area, you've got your two dividers. So these both open up. Nice solid dividers, get the horse in there really easily. You've got your roof vents on all three stalls, so those push forward and they push back. So push them forward, you're gonna be sucking that air in, drawing it in, pushing it back, gonna help that draw that air out and get that airflow going over the horse's back and keep them comfortable when it's hot outside. You got your bus windows on the hip side, those all slide open. Once again, you can kind of dedicate and dictate how much airflow you want going through the trailer. And then we've got two lights. Those lights help out big time when you're going to load, unload in the dark at night, um, be able to, you for, for you to see and for your horse to see too, just keep everyone safer and, and happier overall. So these doors do latch back, like I said earlier, so your wind's not gonna be grabbing them or anything, throwing them around on you. And I will close this up so you can kind of get a feel for what this looks like on the rear. So that closes, closes up. That's your door set up on the rear. You do have that back window. That window comes in handy with helping draw that air all the way through the trailer. So get that open in those really hot days and it'll help pull and suck that air back through. And then right here is your light switch for your interior lights. So coming around here to the hip side of the trailer, just got our bus windows and our two ties. In this trailer, we are sitting at 610 wide. We're sitting at seven feet, one inches tall. And we got an on the floor length of 18 feet. Probably gonna be roughly around that 4,000 pound empty weight. Um, if you needed an empty weight on it, we can get it on the scale for you, get that for you, no problem. Be able to tow it around. But this is a 2010 Exus, three horse gooseneck. And stock number on this one, we've got 5U, 211, 542. And that's 5U, 211, 542. 2010 Exus Sport, three horse gooseneck. If you guys have questions on this trailer, any other trailers we have on our lot, if you've been to our website recently, you'll notice a lot of drawings. Those are all trailers we have on order coming in. So if any of those, you know, pique your interest, you wanna know when we should be seeing it, give us a call, we can let you know. Um, you can call or text my cell phone at 970-218-5996. You can call my desk phone at 303-684-3451. Or you can shoot me an email at morgan, that's M-O-R-G-A-N, dot null k-n-o-l-l -L, at transwest.com i look forward to hearing from you and look forward to doing business and i hope you have a great day